Medjugorje Masses over the next few months, we're running through the key parts, key teachings of Our Lady's messages. And last month, if you remember, we started with prayer and Our Lady's call to, to pray from the heart. And tonight, I want to speak about the call to fasting. And fasting, this call appears so often in Our Lady's messages. From the very beginning, she's calling us to, to fast. In one of her early messages in 1984, this is what Our Lady said to the children. I would like the world to fast with me these days as much as possible. To fast on Wednesdays and Fridays. I invite you to start fasting with the heart. And then more recently in the year 2001, she said, Today I call you to renew prayer and fasting with even greater enthusiasm until it becomes a joy for you. The one who fasts is not afraid of evil, she says. So from these messages and, and from so many others, we find the key components to this call to fast. Our mother asks us to embrace it on Wednesdays and Fridays, fasting on bread and water if we can. If we run well, we can choose some other small sacrifice. And Our Lady also, she has said many times, she has spoken about the food that helps us to endure the fast. That seems a strange thing to say. The food that helps us to endure the fast, which is Holy Communion. She says we should try to receive the Eucharist on the days when we fast. That's the spiritual sustenance that strengthens us in order to complete the fast. And Our Lady, she also says that there are other types of fasts that we can choose to do. In 1981, she said, this is a beautiful message she spoke to the children. This is what she said. It would be good to fast from television, she said. Because after watching it, sometimes you get distracted. And you're unable to pray as you should. So we can choose to, to fast from TV or from other things, cigarettes, alcohol, something else. So long as in the act of our fasting, there is an element of self-denial, sacrifice. And constantly, Our Lady, she calls our fast, she calls it a living prayer. And she says it's a living prayer that is precious and pleasing to God. Why is it such a valuable prayer? It's for this reason. It's valuable because it's a choice that we're making to say no to ourselves. To say no to our own wills, our own desires, so that we can give a greater yes to God. In the simple act of fasting, we're saying God comes first. God is more important than the things in life that I want and desire and the things that please me. And it's actually, it's a very important part of our spiritual schooling. Our Lady says this constantly. A person who has never said no to himself or herself will struggle in the spiritual life, will struggle in life in general. Fasting is a necessary training for the inevitable crosses and sufferings that come our way in life. The world tells us that the word no is a bad thing. The world tells us that to reject the things that you want is a bad thing. That's not the logic of God. There is a beauty 
in saying no to ourselves. And, you know, I remember a couple of years ago, I met with a couple preparing for marriage in a different parish. And there was quite a tense discussion around the music for the wedding mass. And the bride, she wanted to walk up the aisle to her favorite pop song. And I said, sorry, that's not possible. I said, you've come for a Catholic wedding. I'm going to give you a Catholic wedding. And long story short, she wouldn't accept it. She rallied against it, and she asked for another meeting, and we went through the whole thing again. And there was lots of tears. And she had this hope, I could tell she had this hope, that if she pressed enough that I would change, she clearly doesn't know me. The decision for all the right reasons was no. It was to be a Catholic Mass with the proper hymns. And I remember at the end of the second meeting, I said to her, and I meant this, I said, is this the first time somebody has said no to you and really meant it? And she was a bit stunned. Some people are not equipped with a real firm no. Perhaps she hadn't said no to herself as often as she should. So fasting is saying no to ourselves. And the world tells us that's a terrible thing. We say that's the path of the disciple. And strangely, when we say no to ourselves every once in a while, it makes us strong, it makes us resilient. It equips us with the turbulence and the challenge of life. Just look at children. They have to hear the word no from their parents every once in a while. This is a good thing for them to hear. And I'm sure we, we've all seen children who've never heard no. It doesn't end well. Hearing no Living no sets us up for the roller coaster of life when we don't always get our way, when things don't always go to plan. This practice of self-denial, which is so much part of our faith, it benefits us enormously in the long run. And our fast, it also benefits other people. In one of her other messages, this is what Our Lady said. Just think of the power of this message. This is what she said. She said, Once again, I repeat to you, through your fasting, wars can be stopped. I just think that's such a powerful, powerful message. Through your fasting, even wars can be stopped. This is the power of prayer through fasting. It can change the course of events and really affect the world around us. It's a spiritual gift that moves the heart of God in a profound way. And one of the greatest fruits of prayer, Our Lady says, through fasting, is peace. The person who fasts develops inward peace. And also peace for our broken world around us. Finally, our fast is a sign of unity with the cross, our suffering Lord. Our small mortifications and sacrifices allow us to experience a tiny glimpse of Calvary. And this is another important thing about fast. If it doesn't hurt a little bit, we're not doing it right. We should feel it. Whatever the fast is, it should feel that we're giving something up. 
Jesus is the one who came and said, if you want to be a follower of mine, guess what? You're going to have to take up your cross and follow me. Fasting is a small participation in that cross. So let's take up that invitation from Our Lady to fast from the heart. Maybe it's on bread and water. Maybe it's something else. And let's attach a particular prayer intention to that spiritual gift that we can all present to the Lord. Let's say, let's say no to ourselves so that we can say yes to Jesus. Amen.